and they played that uh, AFC championship game last year at Arrowhead for the first time lost to New England in an interesting game to say the least and there's a pass in the flat I mean, Watkins in the game now for the Chiefs second down Mahomes decides to tuck it away and he can do that slide Sammy Watkins bottom of your screen again Watt trying to spin away it's a little wheel route and it goes incomplete oh, last week a fumble by Kevin Rader late in the game to give Tampa an opportunity in the flat James Conner has it between his legs retains possession gets a first down over the honey badger Tyron Matthew is in this team and he signed a big contract to be here Rudolph using his feet to move the pocket fires over the head of Juju Smith Schuster good coverage over there by Bashad Breeland quarterback Russell Wilson they actually traded him to Kansas City for a first and third round pick Rudolph being hit from behind good closing speed there and the sack Mahomes started two for two he's 0 for his last three and this is a second down situation and it's up the middle and a ball comes out it's caused fumble picked up by the Steelers and they have the ball at their own 47 yard lines and you saw Hyde cough it up creating total turnovers and that's what the Steelers defense was able to do early. It looked like Samuels was going to be in but James Conner returned to the field. So far it hasn't been much offensively for the Steelers. Maybe they want to get something going and the ball comes out. Fumble there by Dante Moncrief the first time he touched the ball and we'll see what happens here and it looks like Kansas City does have it. A lot of success that T.J. Watt has had has come because Bud has been opposite side of him so they just have to continue to work in that tandem. All right, once again, Henny back to pass. Pressure up the middle and down goes Henny. And we were just talking about Bud Dupree, and he's in there. Uh, as that pocket completely collapsed. Every team is struggling, but the Cardinals have the lead over the Cubs. More tonight on KDK TV, late edition of the news. James Conner remains in there. And now Connor stretching it to the left side. Connor trying to cut in. Sorensen comes over. Rogers in the game now for the Steelers. He and Ryan Switzer have been involved in a nice slot battle. Rudolph now with time. Fires has a ball tipped and almost intercepted there. Defense. All right, Steelers going to punt it again. That's been the story of the first half. Some sloppy play. And this one's taken by Hardman. And back there trying to get is Justin Lane. And finally, a wonderful special teams play. They're delivered by Benny Snell. You know him for his offense. He's pretty good on special teams, too. In the backfield more often than most running backs, and they like that about him. And now, here's Henny. Fires and has his man. And a good catch there by Dion Yelder on a third down and six. Combined, the teams were one for six on third down and only one double-digit play. Combined, this is a third and 14. Pressure by T.J. Watt, almost picked off by Bob Dupree. And is it? No, it says it hits the ground. Active day last week is in the game now. Bottom of your screen, Mason Rudolph fires over the middle, right on the money to Washington. Flag flies again, but that was in tight coverage, very little window. Expecting big things out of the slot position from him. Mason Rudolph again in the shotgun here. Stands up in the target, fires to James Washington, who goes up and get it. From the pocket, which he's doing a nice job of the night. He certainly is, 8 for 12 on the night. And it's a handoff to Jalen Samuels, who breaks the tackle, gets to the 30. Second and short, it gives you options. It keeps the defense back on its heels. Rudolph now, with some time, looks to run it, then steps back, gets more time, rolling right. Play fake, again, gets away from pressure. Fires into the end zone, and that one is almost delivered to Eli Rogers. 2016 out of Ohio State, and Mason Rudolph uh, deked him out. He had completed five consecutive before that incompletion. Good call by your part, Charlie. That's what he needs to do. In it, he had a lot of points last week in a 30-28 Steeler win against Tampa Bay. This time, it's a little hitter to Deontay Johnson on this drive. Hand off again. It's to Samuel. Samuel says open real estate, and he's going to go untouched into the end zone. A 14-yard touchdown for Jalen Samuels, and the offensive line just sealed it off beautifully. Darwin Thompson in the game now at running back for Kansas City. And Thompson gets to the outside, pushed out of bounds. What they expected as they drafted him five years ago out of Kentucky. Then it's Thompson trying to cut to the outside now. And he does. He gets first down yardage as he gets out of bounds. Tackled by Mike Hilt. And that started up in the trope. Third and short now. Here comes Dupree from the outside. Pass over the middle. And it's a good one. Marcus Kemp is there. They'd like to keep it that way. Henny. From behind Bud Dupree again. As he beats the tackle cleanly. 
We've seen Bud take circuitous routes in the past, not this time. As these guys continue to scratch along here in the preseason. All right, it's third down now for Chad Henney. Again, this time Watt being picked up by into the end zone, and he has his man, and that's Nicole Hardman, 17 yards. And boy, he had a touchdown last week on a shovel pass. He's dangerous, and Kansas City has to account for that. Dobbs now in the packet, pump fakes, throws down the middle. James Washington beats his man and makes the reception at the 40. Dobbs now looking and swinging behind Xavier Grimble. Dobbs now with time, fires down the field looking for and not finding Deontay Johnson. Here comes Mike Hilton, snap is low, fumble, it's still loose, and it's going to be picked up right there, and that's Tuzar Skipper, who had a good game last week. Hilton came in with the pressure from the end. So the Steelers take over now. Dobbs over the middle, has his man Eli Rogers. He put it beautifully right there. But the Steelers will take it now. They're in the red zone inside the 10-yard line. Dobbs with time, fires over the head, and it's picked off by Kansas City and Ward is going the other way. He's at the 40 trying to get around Dobbs who makes the tackle at midfield. Shavarius Ward. Three timeouts, 10 seconds. We'll see how they do. Last time it was a bad snap from center. Hilton with pressure. This time sideline pattern. Crowd comes to life. Snap is good. The kick is up and it's going to be wide to the right. Everything else has been rather sloppy. Now third and four, Shermer fires, has his man a little slant pattern, and it goes to Pringle. Had a good job with his offense, no doubt, but certainly it helps with Pat Mahomes running the show. He gets it done, and there is a missed tackle by Allen again, and that's enough to get third and 20. Shermer going to be tested here as he's got four wides in there, and pressure comes up the middle. He's trying to get away from it, and he cannot get away from the pressure. They Spencer back this time. Deontay Johnson had an opportunity in the first half, fumbled once, not much in a return game. Spencer had a nice return last year, and he's going to get to the outside. This is a man who started in the CFL. Spencer across the 40. He lose the kicker in the midfield and beyond. Deontay Spencer trying to earn a roster spot. As the Steelers get a new set of downs after the conversion by Benny Snell. Rolling right is Dobbs, trying to get away from pressure. He does. Fires down the field, has a man. Pretty good stuff there. And he's a talented kid looking for a chance. Dobbs fires into the end zone, and it's a nice catch, and it's going to be a touchdown for the Steelers, and that. After review, the ruling on the field will stand as offensive pass interference. Made his attempt last week. Let's see what this is. And the kick is up. Matthew Wright to make something happen and continue to be part of this quarterback rotation. Slings it down the field, puts it right on the money, does it with ease. Deontay Johnson. All right, little flip goes to Spencer, utilizing that speed as he gets through a couple of guys. Deontay Spencer down inside the 30. Derwin James. Oh, he he's out himself. now. Yeah. He had a leg injury of some sort. I didn't see the specifics on that, but he had over 100 tackles last year as a rookie in the corner of the end zone. And that is going to be a touchdown pass. Deontay Johnson, 24 yards, no review necessary. Devlin Hodges puts it right there. Company at Duquesne have done a wonderful job on the bluff. There's a completion to Thompson. Flag flies. He spins around, getting away from would be tacklers before he's finally knocked down. I remember all the good things you said about the judge. All right, pressure from behind, and down goes Litton. Once again, it's Tuzar Skipper. He's a guy they like to go to. He has a lot of speed for Kansas City. Litton, again, pumping, throwing, and making the completion over the middle. Fourth down after Drayvon Askew Henry out of Aliquippa makes that tackle. He hasn't seen a lot of action in this game. And now it's going to be the quarterback Litton who smartly rolls right, gets first down yardage, and then slides. Third down play here for Chase Litton. Has time, fires down the middle and puts it right on the money, but the ball is out. A nice hit, a forced fumble, and a recovery by the Steelers.